Hi, I'm Laura from the Helena Family YMCA, and I'm about to do a 30 minute silver sneaker class. Silver sneakers is an older adult class. It's low impact, some strength, range of motion, a little bit of everything, flexibility. Um, <clears throat> make sure, well, for this class, you're going to need a chair. If I move for a second, there's my chair. Um, you'll want something that doesn't rock or roll and no folding chairs. Uh, so just make sure it just stays put underneath you. Uh, we'll be sitting in it, but when we're warming up, we'll be standing up. And if you just need it there for a little bit of support, that's what it's there for. You're also going to need a pair of hand weights, but if you don't have any hand weights, don't worry. Um, I use a couple canned goods, you know, whatever you have handy at home. Canned goods kind of work well. They're always handy and they kind of fit nicely in the hand. You want something not too heavy, not too light. Uh, you're also going to want a water bottle or something to keep you hydrated. <clears throat> so if you're at home and you're drinking like tea or uh, juice or something, that's that's okay too. But, you know, we're going to take a water break halfway through. Staying hydrated is good. And when I'm not using my stuff, I store mine underneath my chair. You just want to make sure you're storing them out of the way. Underneath the chair is not a good option, but a shelf or a desk or something nearby works just as well. Uh, you want to make sure today that your your area is also clear of any clutter or debris. We don't want to be tripping over anything. Um, and make sure you're also, when we move, we're going to move without pain today. If there's some kind of, something's hurting or some particular movement is just not working for you. So sometimes if you work through it, you can do yourself more damage. So sometimes we just need to rest that body part, whatever it is. Work around it. Modify as you need to. You can always drop the weights and do it without weights. Uh, that kind of thing. Listen to your body and give it what it needs. <clears throat> um, you also make sure that you're wearing some good footwear. See, if I lift my foot up, this is my, my shoes. I just have a simple shoe that I wear inside for exercising, and I only wear them inside. Uh, but we want, but something like flippers or sl slippers or flip flops. Um, will kind of trip us up a little bit. You want to make sure so you have a nice, good exercise shoe on. <clears throat> and like socks can be pretty slippery on certain floors, so be careful of that too. <clears throat> um, so yeah, make and take a break whenever you need to, and just kind of hop in when you need when you uh, feel ready, and just take a break. Maybe drop your arm, shake them out, whatever you need to do. And just hop back right in when you're ready. So, all right, let's go. I'm going to get my stuff. I'm going to store them underneath my chair, and we'll get started with the warm up. All right, class. Hope everyone's feeling good today. Oh, let me pull this curtain here. There. You don't have that big glare there now. All right. To start with the warm up, we're going to warm up those legs and those arms. Good. To warm up the body and prevent injury. Just get it moving. And the important part is you just keep moving. Your pace can be bigger or, or faster or slower than mine. That's all right. Just go tap to the side and then reach your arm across your body. Good. Nice steady rhythm here. Reach those arms. Keep that body moving. Your arms can stay here if you like. They can also reach it up. If you're reaching something on a shelf, 
Keep tapping those feet. All right, let's go ahead. Elbow to knee. Just lift that leg up as best you can. Good, right across your body, warming up those abs and those legs. Let's pull those legs back, try to kick your glutes. Keep the arms moving, upright body. Good posture here. Good. Hands on your hips. Rotate the hips, just going to loosen them up here, getting them ready to work with a big circle, and the other way. All right, we'll go into our knees, feet a little bit together, bend the knees, and then rotate them in a circle. Go ahead, use the chair for support if you need it, and the other direction. That'll warm up the knees too. All right, good. We're going to do a squat. So we're going to pull our hips back like we're about to sit down, and then we come back up. Your range of motion is whatever you need it to be. And if you need to hold on to the chair for support, go right ahead. Because some of you might go down further than I am. Some of you might not be able to go down as far. It's all good. You just need to keep moving. All right, we're going to do two more. Good. All right, we're going to do a short stride lunge. So we're going to bring that foot back just a little bit. This back foot here is just for balance. Come down and up. And you can use the chair for, hold on to the chair for support if you need it. Upright chest, we don't want to be leaning forward with this one. Smooth down, smooth up. Good. Let's do two more, and then we'll switch feet. Go ahead and switch feet. Down and up. Right, good. We'll do two more. All right, good. Shake them out if you need to. And we'll sit down here in the chair and work on some arms. So go ahead and pick up those hand weights. All right, we'll start with some wrist. We're warming up the wrist, so go ahead and rotate that wrist. And the other direction. Good. Go ahead and roll the shoulders forward and back. Getting them moving, get them loosened up. Pull them to your ears and then relax. Up and one more time. Good. Pull the uh, palms face forward. Nice straight back. We don't want to be slouching back on the chair. We want to be upright. Nice posture. We're going to do some bicep curls. So we're going to curl all the way up and then down. So go ahead. All the way down every time. Not quite to the top. We just want our elbow to stay in one place. Nice, smooth motion. If you're going slower or even faster than I am, don't worry about it. Just keep going. All right, one more. Good job. And don't feel free. Don't be scared to go slow. We're going to pull. I'm just going to put one down for a second. We're going to pull one that elbow up to the sky. Go ahead. Give it a little support if you need to. And we're going to pull that up and down. We're doing the back of the arm here. Try to 
Try to keep that arm close to your head. One more. All right, let's switch sides. Elbow all the way up, up and down. All right, good. Nice smooth motion, arm right next to your head. All right, let's do one more. Good, and down. Go ahead and switch that to the other side. We're gonna bring this down to our foot and then we're gonna bring it up. This is a full body motion, kind of an everyday motion. So we're doing range of motion, a lot of strength here, abs, arm, a little bit of leg, get a little bit of twist in that body. Make sure when you're bringing that up, that, that weight is forward of your head, not behind. Good, let's go ahead and switch sides. So down and up. Down and up. Good. Like, kind of like you're unloading the dishwasher, putting something on the shelf. All right, let's do one more. Good. All right, we're gonna do some rainbow. So let's have this one in one hand. We're gonna bring it all the way up, pass it, and down. Now your rainbow can look smaller if it needs to be smaller. That's just fine. Slow and controlled. Nice upright body. Make sure that weight is forward in your head, not behind. Good, one more. All right, good. Let's pick up this other one. Bring it down. We're gonna come up to the side and down. Now, if you need to do this without weight, or if you need to bend your elbows, go right ahead. Just some nice shoulder motion here. Say hi to Heisenberg. <laughs> All right, let's go behind us. Make sure your body is not rocking back and forth. It's staying in one spot, nice and upright. You can try to squeeze the top. And release. Let's go forward. Yeah, there we go. Don't want to go up past your shoulders. All right, good. Go ahead and roll those out. Good. We're gonna bring our arms up. They don't have to be all the way up because we're gonna work our range of motion in our elbows. So we're gonna do some propellers here. And let's do it the other way. You could do this without the cans or the, or the weights if you want to. It's a lot of you can have them down here even. There we go. All right, go ahead, roll the shoulders forward. All right, it's time for a water break. So let's go take a water break. So put this down and get some water. Staying hydrated. Doesn't that feel good? <laughs> All right. Put 
that out of the way. We get our hand weights again. We're going to work a little bit of our legs again. So put those right here on our legs. We're going to start with a march. Kind of get them warmed up again. Back and forth. You can stay here if you like. You can also kick it up. There you go. Squeeze in the top of the legs. Back and forth. Good. All right, feet planted on the floor. Uh, waist right here on your legs. We're going to bring the heels up and back and down. We're going to squeeze at the top and down. Good. Good. Work at the back of our legs here. All right, let's go ahead and pull the toes up in front and down. Just working that all the muscle group. Good for our ankles, blood circulation. All right, good. One more. All right, we're going to bring this one leg up. We're going to pick it up. We're going to bring it to the side, and then we're going to bring it back. This is a really great hip, hip flexibility, hip, hip mobility, and a lot of strength here, too. A good everyday motion, kind of like we're getting out of the car or up from a table. Let's go ahead. Let's do two more. Try to keep that body right in one place. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Go up to the side and back. Just back and forth. Good. Nice tight core here. One more. All right, good. Let's go ahead and put one down. We're going to work a little bit of our abs. So just right here in one hand. Well, you can have two. You can hold two in front of you if you wanted to. But we're just going to twist to the side, come back, twist to the other side, and come back. Matter of fact, I usually hold both of them, but today I'm going to do one. Just got a little variation. Good. Fantastic. Let's put it right here. We're going to make a figure eight. So we're going to make a round this side and make another loop on this side. It's a nice figure eight. Works a little bit our short shoulders, but it definitely works our core. I can feel it heating up. My straight back. If you have it out more, it's a little harder. If you want to make it harder, kind of make it easier, bring it in closer to your body. Let's go the other direction. So let's try to do the opposite direction. Good. All right, we're going to do some crunches. Let's we'll have them right here. We're going to squeeze those abs, straighten back up. So down and up. Squeeze and up. Good. Just up and down, squeezing those abs. Good. 
So just briefly work a little bit of our hand. I'm gonna roll up my sleeves so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna just rotate those wrists, just warming them up here. And the other direction. And we're gonna work a little bit of our grip strength. So go ahead, if you have like a ball, like a Nerf ball or something at home, that actually works pretty well with this, rather than just a weight. Uh, so we're going to take this in both hands. We're going to pretend like we're pulling it apart. So squeeze it with your hands, your whole hand. Try to pull it apart and then relax. Pull it apart and relax. A lot of grip strength here. Keeping that grip nice and strong. Our hands have so many little muscles that when we start to get weaker, the hands go first. <laughs> And they, we use them for everything, so let's try to keep them strong. All right, one more. And we're going to do, we're going to have, put them in both palms like we, we have it. And we're going to try to squeeze that and smash it and relax. Just try to smash, pull those palms together and relax. Squeeze with your fingers while you're doing this and relax. It also works our chest muscles here. Good. One more. All right, good. Go ahead and put this down. We're going to get a good stretch in. Let's stretch our fingers while we're at it. Palms together. Don't do this if it hurts. And pull it down. We're kind of getting a little stretch right in here. And release. Gently pull that down. Grab that, that hand, pull it down to the floor. Release, do the other side. All right, good, let's wiggle the fingers. Do the opposite way. Think about that one. Uh, rotate the wrist. Other direction. Open, close the hand. Shake them out. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and open up the chest all really, really wide. Wide as you can go. All you can, Hopefully you can feel it all the way across that chest. Pull the thumbs down, pull it back. And release. Pull the elbow up. You can also push it back if you need to. Get a little bit of tricep stretching here. All right, switch. And release. Let's put one ankle on the knee. If it needs to be lower, it can be lower. Hands right here. We're going to lean forward. Nice straight back. And up. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Lean forward. And up. Heel out in front. There, there we go. You can see me now. Hand here. Lean forward. Try to get the back of our leg here. And switch sides.
and upright. Go ahead, have those legs out wide, hands on your thighs. We're gonna do some cat cows. So bridge that back all the way to the ceiling and then drop it to the floor. Go ahead, go back and forth. So it's your own pace. Don't forget to breathe with it. Don't forget to smile. Making that back feel pretty good. All right, let's have a neutral spine. Dip one elbow or shoulder. Up, other side. And up. Let's put one knee on the other. Hand right here. I'll make sure that the torso is nice and straight. We're going to twist all the way around. Try to look behind you. Gently come to the front. We're going to do the other side. Just try to relax into this stretch as you go into it. Twist around. come forward. Good. Like that wide again. We're going to come to the side. Dip this uh, knee down. Come up on that toe. Try to give it a good stretch. Let's switch sides. Right, come to the front. Let's do a little bit of our ankles. So let's go ahead, rotate that ankle. And the other way. Point and flex that toe. Wiggle the toes aside. Now let's go to the other foot. All the way around. Other way. Point and flex the whole foot. And wiggle the toes inside of it. Good. Plant those boots on that chair. We're going to go ahead and breathe all the way up, fill the legs all the way to the top, reach the sky, and then float the arms down, breathing out, emptying the lungs all the way. Ooh, good. Let's do it again. Breathe all the way up, all the way to the top, and then reach for the sky, and then down, all the way, float them down. I hope everyone had a good time today, and everyone got some good exercise in. I know my body feels good. I hope everyone's staying safe at home. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.